Hello, and welcome to Principles of Microeconomics. This is Module 1.4a on Economic Systems. In this video, we will define what is an economic system, and we will discuss the different types of economic systems that exist. So to start off with, an economic system is a system of production, resource allocation, exchange, and distribution of goods and services. When we look at these systems, we look to answer what does an economy produce, how much does it produce, and who receives the output. Property rights are an important component of economic systems because they determine who owns a resource and who determines the allocation of that resource. Property rights determine the ownership of a good or service and the distribution of that good or service. They have four components. First, property rights determine the right to use the good. Secondly, the right to earn income from the good. Third, the right to transfer the good to another person. And fourth, the right to enforce property rights. Now, when we look at the different type of economic systems that exist, we have to define them based on the type of ownership and the type of allocation. On one extreme, and what we are most familiar with in the US economy, is private ownership of resources and goods and private ownership and allocation of those goods. This is called a capitalist economy. On the other extreme, we have planned or government ownership of a good or resource and planned or government-based allocation of the good or resource. This is called a socially planned economy or a socialist economy. In the middle, we have private ownership, but planned or public allocation, which is a command capitalist economy. And we also have planned ownership and private allocation, which would be considered market socialism. Now, in a market-based capitalist economy, we see the flow of goods and services going from households to firms. Households pay firms in exchange for these goods and services. We also have the market for inputs. Households supply inputs for production, and firms demand those inputs of production, such as land, labor, and capital. So in a market-based capitalist economy, we have the free flow of goods and services between people that own them and people that need them. Thanks so much for joining me in Module 1.4a on Economic Systems.